Excuse me, are you Seth? Who are you? I'm a friend of Mr. West Dickens. My name is Marston. John Marston. Goodbye, John Marston. It's been a great pleasure. I need your help, Seth. We need your help, me and Mr. West Dickens. Let me be frank for one second, partner. I hate people. It was people who got me in this mess in the first place. What mess? <laughs> Look at me. Look, scrambling around, looking for maps, half insane. I ain't washed in six months. My hair falling out, my mind's going. What happened? <laughs> what happened? My partner, he stole half my map. I never would have done that to him. Never. Look at me. Who did this to you? My partner. My boy, my man. Moses Ford. I don't have the facility to tell you what I would have done for that man and what I would do to him now. Why? Because he stole half my goddamn map. And what map's that then? The map, partner. The map that tells me where it is. Where what is, friend? I ain't telling you that. I ain't. <laughs> Don't make me tell, partner. <laughs> it's mine. It's mine. All mine. <laughs> sure. And where's this Moses now? He's at Benedict Point. The law got him for exhuming. Some people. They feel differently. Not Moses. Him and me are the same. The self-same. Well, come on, Seth. Let's go see Moses, get you your map back. Then maybe you'll help me. All right, partner. Let's go. Come on, then, partner! How can you sink that low? Digging up graves and looting from the dead. Ha, ah, hypocrite! The whole damn lot of you! Are you saying it's better to steal from the living? We night and day. All right, this is it. Let's stop here a moment and come up with a plan. As far as I know, Moses is being held in that shack. There's a couple of deputies keeping guard outside. Can you distract him so I can sneak in for a quick parlay with that son of a bitch? I'm sure I can think of something. away from the shack and out of sight. Somewhere out past that hill. This is one god-awful assignment. I know. This place is deader than a side of bacon. Yeah! Are you looking to go?
Good job getting rid of them clowns. Now keep an eye out in case they come back. Moses? Oh, Moses? You got a visitor. Oh, my God, Seth. They arrested me. It weren't my fault. Ah! Get the hell away from me! Get that slippery bastard! I need him alive, though! This ain't none of your business! Don't trust Seth! He's sick in the mind! Just leave me alone! Let's go! Must be stupid trusting that crazy bastard. We'll split it between us, just me and you. We're in a bit of a rush. Whatever he told you, it's a lie. Just wait till I get loose, mister. Easy. Seth lost his mind a long time ago. Moses, you son of a bitch! Where's my damn map? Damn you, Seth! Damn you, Seth! You've always been a twisting little freak! I ain't telling you shit! Ah! Then I'm gonna... Cut you uh, up, uh, piece by piece. <laughs> Till you find your tongue. Friend, this man's uh, gone crazy uh, in the sun. Uh, I suggest you take my advice and start talking. Shut up, Marston. I want to cut into a bona fide uh, man's flesh. Uh, Ain't never uh, cut into a uh, live one before. <laughs> uh, uh, odd, odd fellow's rest. It's an odd fellow's rest. Now, get away from me once and for all. Well, ain't that a damn shame. I was starting to enjoy myself. I think you gone pissed yourself, Moses. <laughs> Those deputies went and put a bounty on your head. Best we clear it now. Don't need the law on our backs. I don't have no money, but I got me a pardon letter. Here, take it. You earned it for helping me with the Moses. Uh. Come on. We can pay it off in the telegraph office. Ah! Ah! Come on, ain't no time to be wasting. This letter should clear my bounty, right? Master, I hope you stay out of trouble. Anytime you now. want to get on with it, it's fine with me. Uh. So, mister, thanks for your help. Don't worry yourself with thanks, Seth. Just help me when I come ask it. No problem, mister. Excuse me, Mr. Marston. Have you seen my father anywhere? No. He went out this morning to ride the land and was supposed to be back hours ago. I don't know. The ranch hands have been out looking, but so far they've found nothing. Well, come on. Let's go look for him. Come on. Let's see if we can find the old goat. about this. It's not like him to be away for so long. Don't worry. 
We'll find him. He's not as young as he used to be. What if he's hurt himself? Your father can still handle himself just fine, Miss McFarlane. He's built like an oak. You're probably right, but I can't help worrying. He's all I've got. Don't you have any brothers or sisters, Miss McFarlane? I had six brothers, but five of them died, either from sickness or foolish choices. And the other one? He left for the east and never came back. Must be getting on for ten years ago now. He's a high and mighty banker in New York, according to his last letter. He should be here, helping you and your pa. I don't want his help. He can live his life any way he wants. But when I see those city fellers coming in on the railway, all dressed up like a sore toe, I fear a little for his soul. He switched his saddle for a tie, and that's fine. I just never met a man in a tie I could trust. Look, I think I see someone. Yeah! Come on, let's have... Daddy! What happened? Nothing nice. Wrestlers, I guess. Maybe the Baller twins, that bunch. Now, you head back to the ranch right now. Fetch the wagon. Yes, sir. Marston, you watch after her. I'll do that, sir. Really? What could have happened to those poor men? And their horses were dead, too. I think we should get back there as soon as we can. Who could have done something like that? Your boss seemed to have an idea who it was. Let's just do what he says and get the wagon. Good mind to head over to Pike's Basin myself. I don't think that's a good idea. And you're no better. How many men have you killed? Do you really want to know? It's disgusting. You never met the men I killed. I heard the way you talk about that gang you were in, like there was some twisted morality to what you did. We all have a code. Only some of us don't realize. The outlaw with the code? How wonderfully romantic. The reluctant murderer, the noble criminal, there's nothing more depressing than a man who's found a way to think the bad into good. You're upset, Miss... Look, Mr. Marston, the barn is on fire!
You sure know how to handle yourself. Thanks, Marston. Yes, John, thanks. You... Well, you saved the ranch. If you'll excuse me, I, I've got chores to attend to. Hey, wh hold on a second over there. Sincerely, John. Thank you. Well, I did all I could, Miss McFarland. Sorry about all the damage. That gang seems to really want you out of here. Yeah, well, my father fought Indians. I scarcely think we're going to be frightened by some white trash. White trash can be pretty frightening. Well, they don't frighten me. Good. John, my family owes you a great debt. I think you got enough debt. You saved my life. All I ask of you is this. If I get back home and get my farm started back up, you'll sell me some cattle. I prefer doing business with people I know. Of course, Mr. Marston. It'd be my pleasure. Um, well, you get some rest. I've got to go see how my father's bearing up. <laughs>